Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute DIY Valentine's Day card. Now if you're new to my channel, my name's Brittany and I make snail mail and DIY videos weekly. So please consider subscribing if you'd like to see these weekly tutorials. For this tutorial today, you will need a squared piece of paper, a ruler, pencil, rubber, and also some ephemera to decorate the card with at the end. So I actually have a rectangle piece of paper and all you'll need to do to turn it into a squared piece of paper is you'll grab the corner, fold it up until you get to the edge and then chop off the side. Next, you'll need to rule out thirds on all four sides of the paper, rule the lines and then you'll end up with nine squared boxes at the end. Once you've ruled out the lines, you will then need to cut out the four corner boxes. So it will look like a cross once you've cut them out. Once you've done this, you will then fold in all four tabs into the center box. And then rub out any of the lines that are still left on your piece of paper. This will just make sure that it looks neat at the end when you do your designing. Make sure you keep all your off cuts because you'll need these to make the two love heart sides and also you can decorate with the other two squares at the end. Now we're going to create the two love heart sides. So when you actually fold your card together, the two love hearts are going to interlock and they're going to keep the card closed. To create a symmetrical love heart, you're going to grab one of the corners that you cut off the squared piece of paper and you're going to diagonally fold it in half. Then you will sketch out half a love heart. So basically it will be circular at the top and then it will come to the point at the end. Once you've sketched out half a love heart, you're going to cut both sides. So make sure it's folded in half when you're cutting it. And then when you open it up, it will have a symmetrical love heart. And then all you need to do is place this love heart on one of the side squares on your card and then roughly sketch out the love heart so that you can cut it out from the squares. Hopefully that made sense. Now I don't actually need to use my own DIY love heart. I've actually got these little heart templates that I bought from the reject shop. They were very cheap and they're in like a little stationary pack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place both of my heart templates on opposite sides. One of the hearts have to actually face up and then the other one has to face down so that when you fold it together they can interlock. So what I'll do is I'll sketch around the template and then cut out both heart shapes. Just make sure that the corner of the heart is actually pressing against the fold line. So once you have the hearts cut out, you are done. That is the template and you can simply write the note, interlock the hearts and then give that straight to your valentine. You can finish it this step or if you want to get a bit more creative, you can add a few decorations. You can even pop it into a smaller card like I did, wrap it up with a cute bow and then put it on a gift if you want to do that. I also love this template for snail mail. So this would be a perfect flip book to send to a pen pal if you want to do that as well. You can also experiment with the shapes on the side so they don't have to be love hearts although the love hearts are adorable um, you can do lots of different shapes and then interlock them as well
So I would love to see if you recreate this tutorial. Please tag me on Instagram, send me through an email if you make your own version of this and you're not on Instagram. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial today. And yeah, I can't wait to see if you guys recreate this one. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed and you would like to see more tutorials, please subscribe and click the notifications bell at the bottom of the screen. Thanks and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!